Hello, let me show you what are the seven steps to come to a good board simulation with TRM. As an example, we will use an evaluation board by Microchip. It's a two-layer piece of PCB where we imitate some components and currents. Step one is to prepare the board. Just type in some title and text for identification. Next step is to define board size, default materials, perhaps a subframe in the board and the desired resolution of the final result. We call it size of thermal pixels. Step two is to import the Gerber files and to translate them into computational form. Let's start with layer one, add a prepreg and finish with the bottom layer. Next step is to define the drillings. We will use the Exelon version of the import. You will see the result of the import in a monitor screen. Next step is to prepare the placement. We will just import the Gerber file of the placement for later use. Step 4 is the final real assembling of the board with components. There are several ways to fill in components, either by typing coordinates or by reading other files, or by a graphical interface with some background image. As a background image we could use either one of the layers or the placement drawing. We can add names and physical values like power and current. This is just an example without any attempt to be real. This is the final placement of our soil components. Step number six is to start the calculation imitating a laboratory experiment. All the calculations are done iteratively. The first loop is treating the voltage or the potential. And when it's converged, it will store the data automatic pictures and continue with the second loop which is to calculate temperatures. While temperatures are running we could inspect the potential field in every layer or any level of the computational board and when the temperature loop has finished it will give the maximum calculated temperature which is a little bit hot in this case. The final step is to inspect the results. You will get automatic pictures for all variables, which is temperature, voltage, current density, conductivities and power density. You might click into the pictures and get an external PNG file for use in your documentations. It will automatically create a report text file with all the necessary input and output data. And we have auxiliary tools which allow external treatment. If you want to know more, just ask for a test installation or send us an email. Thank you.